Hi there, welcome to another quick update from Colchester International. And um, this will be a, a fairly quick one because uh, there is um, a little bit of um, progress that uh, you need to be made aware of. And um, most of that is uh, construction. So uh, there's been a lot of timber work and stuff going in today, which um, has had to be done. And um, basically it's in preparation for the next big stages, uh, which I think I've already gone over a couple of times with you now, um, to let you know what's going on in regards to um, Colchester evolving further on. So, um, as I've already mentioned in previous films, there's another storage line going in. Now, uh, this um, basically has been uh, prepared for in the previous um, film, as I uh, mentioned, um, by putting a few extra... Uh, things in place to make ready for it um, and what I've been doing basically is continuing with that work and um, getting ready to uh, put this storage yard in properly so um, with that in mind I'm just going to very quickly show you now on the far side of the board what's been going on so if you just bear with me I will just hop over to that side okay so I just climbed up onto my step ladder a little bit so I can get a bit of a view looking down on the um, storage lines so this is the lower level storage lines that were already put into place uh, about just over a little week, about a couple of weeks ago now. Now what you can obviously see here now, um, we have some timber upright supports which have gone in. And um, I've also made provision for um, some brackets to go in on the far wall there. Um, you'll see the brackets have been placed on the floor of the, uh, the board here in preparation for that to go in. And they'll go across onto the far side of the wall over this side here. So um, the the whole idea will be that they will support um, an upper storage yard. Now the upper storage yard, um, as I've said before, I'm rather hoping to get about um, six tracks on. Um, I don't know if that's going to be a possibility yet. We're going to try for it. But if we have to go down to four tracks, then obviously that will be uh, what we'll have to do. But um, obviously, uh, for the time being, what we're looking at here now is um, completing the storage yards and getting that in place so we can have another circuit going around in the in the shed again. So um, these uh, uprights have been put into place. They're um, glued into place now as well. So they're um, obviously going to be set in now overnight. And um, the other thing that I've done is I've already cut... Uh, and that, the next section of Sun Dealer board, which is going in here, uh, that has now been um, tapered and uh, made correct for fitting into that section. At the moment, it's just resting on the other supports which are underneath it. Um, but those uh, obviously will be fixed against the wall because you can still see my markers on the side there, which I mentioned in the previous film. So um, it's not exactly at the right level, it's actually leaning slightly. Uh, so once the um, the brackets go in on the wall on the other side over, over that uh, on the shed wall, you'll be able to support that board in full on that side, and um, you'll be able to see uh, obviously that working properly. And uh, that's basically all I can show you from that side of it. Um, the other bit now is another new upper level which is going in for scenery. And that obviously will now needs to uh, be explained as well. So let me just go over to that bit and we'll show you that. Okay, so what we've done now is we've also put in the support work underneath uh, and onto the um, upper level boards to put in this uh, sort of semicircular section and on which I've also marked in where uh, the road scheme is going to go on this particular section. So it matches in with the end of the depot road bridge over there. Um, don't worry about the slight difference in height between the road bridge and the road surface and the uh, the new board, because obviously uh, the road surface on the bridge was done using card. And in order to get an exact match, the um, new section of the board that's been put in has been put in just a fraction lower to allow for the card to run onto it quite smoothly. Um, and also don't forget that the depot road bridge also is designed to lift up so that access can be gained to the tracks underneath. So um, there's uh, always going to be a join here anyway. 
Um, my idea though is to try and not make that join as in invisible as possible so you shouldn't uh, be able to see it too much but anyway um, that's all been planned out so that's uh, been marked out on here as you can see using a marker pen um, very roughly just to get an idea of dimensions for the uh, the size that we need to, to put the roundabout in um, I was debating to put a traffic light set in but I thought we already got a traffic light set on the bridge itself I thought it'd be nice to actually have a roundabout to kind of break up the flow a little bit. So that's what we're going to go for there. The roundabout is going to have the rather ominous name of uh, the Four Gallows roundabout. Now this has come about basically as a little bit of a um, bit of fun really. Um, I just thought it's uh, essentially it's an old crossroads. Furman Smithy Village is an old um, village basically with timber frame buildings in it. And... Um, the idea is to kind of reflect the history of the location uh, by having uh, the Four Gallows uh, roundabout being an ancient crossing point where there was probably uh, one or more gallows at uh, one time for the, uh, the city of Colchester. So um, with that in mind, um, it's going to play a rather important part. I'm going to hopefully going to put some uh, sound posts on there, which are actually going to name it as uh, Four Gallows. So everyone will know it's a major junction on the ring road. Um, what else can I say? Well, you can also see over there, uh, there's a road that leads off the edge of the semicircular board. That in turn will go across onto a new bridge, which will go over the four tracks heading towards the doorway of the shed. Um, you can see there's a support uh, pillar already being put in on that side, ready for that. So um, that will go in. <clears throat> And uh, basically, once that's there, that will um, have like, well, it'll, it'll be another way in and out of the city sort of thing. You know, I, I wanted to show that Colchester had connections uh, running off, you know, to various directions. And it wasn't just a single road running through a townscape. Okay, so um, that's going to be uh, obviously constructed. Um, the only thing I have added on here, apart from obviously the vehicles as well and a lot of uh, marker pen, um, I've made a rough idea of where things are going to go. So we're going to have uh, obviously houses and the, the village scene, there's going to be shops as well. Uh, one building has made it onto the board already. It's uh, but in, in no way means is it in its like final sort of uh, location. It may uh, obviously be changed and moved around a little bit. But... Um, this will be um, more or less in the right place and um, I think it's going to be, uh, look quite good and that's the church. So this is Little St Mary's Church at Furman Smithy. And um, this will be uh, the point where another bridge goes across the railway station. As you can see the two supporting piers have been put in on the board already. And um, as discussed in the previous video, that roadway will continue over there uh, in the general direction of the um, can of spray paint. And uh, in that corner will be our ruined abbey idea that we've got. And uh, obviously the tracks which will eventually be covered over uh, by hillside and lead out into the garden. Um, so this is basically all I can sort of tell you for this particular little film. Um, there's been no trains running today because obviously there's been a lot of building work in the way, construction work, and that's why we've got lots of drills in place and lots of bags and stuff and that in the way. So, um, yes, it's been quite busy. Um, it'll be continued on with, uh, there'll be another little further update to this film and, uh, hopefully you'll get some idea of how the storage yards are going together. Um, at the moment, um, where the trucks uh, come off at the end there um, there's going to be a couple of points which will need to go in there and probably two more points after that so it's we're, we're looking hopefully like I said earlier just to try and get six roads in there if possible but uh, we can't guarantee it um, the other thing which is going to be uh, a huge challenge is over this side here now as you can probably see there's quite a height between the the lower loop line and the new upper board now this is obviously um, caused a problem uh, because of my um, idea of putting in the depot road bridge um, 
initially the road bridge was going to go in at a slightly different angle and it would not have affected this area but now that it's in place it does mean that um, I need to come up with some sort of um, idea for a tunnel mouth in this bit um, I also need to um, put in something on the corner of the um, uh, the lower board here uh, to obviously um, sort that bit out so that I've got space to fit in this uh, new tunnel mouth so um, there's a little bit of work got to be done down there and the tunnel mouth itself is going to be very very modern it's going to be a concrete one and it's going to like reflect like a, a redesign of the track sort of thing so obviously at some point there's been a um, a rethink of how all this goes and um, they've redesigned the tunnel portal and uh, re-landscaped it and everything so um, that I think will prove um, quite interesting I might need to change the um, little embankment that I've got there just very slightly to reflect that and um, obviously that will all have to be uh, redone and landscaped and put all scenic stuff put onto it as well so um, that's uh, another little challenge that's got to be done um, there's a few more little bits that got to be fitted in place to make sure that this uh, top is secure um, and I've also at some point got to try and get over onto the um, the depot bit as well um, which I've now made a little bit more difficult for myself but um, hopefully I can still get across onto the depot because I've still got a couple of side walls to do on the ramp over there and of course the um, the depot tracks need to have the overhead wires attached on them so um, that's all got to be done in due course so um, yeah that's a little bit more of an update for you a little bit more news from Colchester and uh, please stay tuned there's a lot more going on and uh, hopefully we'll have um, another storage yard in place fairly soon and uh, you'll be able to see uh, more trains running around on those so um, until then that's um, goodbye from me and uh, please make sure you put your comments and stuff on the uh, the video um, please subscribe to the YouTube channel and um, please can you please put some comments on the website everyone okay thank you very much and a goodbye from now